Trident Wargaming. Build it, paint it, play it. Hey everyone, it's Andy here from Trident Wargaming, uh, bringing you a new little series that uh, we're trying to do here, and it's going to be the sprue preview or unboxing uh, videos for Warhammer the Horus Heresy Age of Darkness. Um, this is more of for players who are just jumping in, um, you know, not sure what's on the sprue, what the models even look like, or the minis, I should say. Um, and then kind of going over some of the equipment and what's what um, for those experienced players. You know, uh, if you haven't bought in the kits, this will be a good little unboxing for the kits as well. So in saying that, uh, we'll kick it off and we're going to start with the uh, meat and potatoes of every heresy legion army. And that's going to be your tactical uh, Marines. So uh, with the new box set, you, you've got a whole bunch of them. Um, they're uh, some pretty nice kits. So uh, stay tuned and we'll show you what we got. And we're back. And as you can see, this is the MK6 Tactical Squad Sprue that comes in your main box set of the Horus Heresy that's been dropped a while back already. Um, so a lot of little goodies in here. Uh, brand new looking armor. Really nice looking molds. Um, the armor looks great. The poses look great. Uh, and of course they're beakies, so that's awesome. Um, you do have, of course, your bolt guns, as you can see. Um, they're all scattered throughout here. Pretty cool thing is you have the chain bayonets here. Um, that is an option for your tactical marines. They're two-handed. They give you a plus one strength, and then they give you shred, which allows you to uh, re-roll uh, failed wound rolls. So that's pretty cool. It's a new option that they gave to the Marines that they never had before. And of course your standard backpack and whatnot and your armor. Um, you'll have one side that is pretty much bare bones. You can put your decals on and stuff, right? And then you'll have your studded armor here that are, it uh, looks like they're two pieces. Um, this is new as well. They never really did this kind of thing before. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much this sprue. Uh, you got a couple different heads. Um, I will flip it here just to see if there's any kind of difference. So um, there you go. So you got a couple heads. You got a bear head there and whatnot. Um, but pretty much majority of them are beakies and there's another one there. So uh, pretty cool looking kit. Um, looks like they're pretty simple to put together. Uh, I know I've had a, a couple friends who are just getting into heresy and, and they've been plowing through them. So uh, that's great news. Um, so MK6, there you go. Uh, there are other versions of the tactical squads out there. There are also MK3 uh, and MK4, and those are older kits and they're slightly different than these. So um, either way, depending on what army, you know, you kind of want or what armor you want you have lots of options and uh next up we will be showing the pretty much the sergeant sprue and uh, the options in that so here we go okay and here we have the sergeant and upgrade sprue uh, so this is where you're going to find all your special equipment and um, special weapons close combat weapons for your sergeant so starting off, uh, we'll start off with his weaponry, his close combat weapons. Uh, top corner here, you have his power sword. It's a user strength weapon that has an AP of three. And it's also uh, has rending six. So if you roll a six on the wound, it changes the AP to two. It's pretty good. They've changed that from previous editions, makes it... Uh, uh, a viable option then you have over here this arm you have a uh, arm that can be made into two different types of weapons one of them is the power fist by using this here and it's uh, pretty much your strength times two and it's AP2 
and uh, it's unwieldy, so it will strike at initiative one, and then it's a special specialist weapon, so you actually won't get a bonus um, from any other weapons unless it's another specialist weapon. So that's the power fist. It's meant for, you know, it's slower, but it packs a hit and can uh, do some good damage, you know, against dreadnoughts, stuff like that, right? Uh, you also have the option with the same arm to go with a Lightning Claw. Uh, again, it's a user strength weapon with AP3. Uh, it also has the Rending six, six, uh rule, just like the Power Sword. So on a 6, the AP changes to a 2. Uh, but it also has Shred. And now Shred lets you re-roll um, your... Uh, your wound roll so your failed wound roll so it's a cool little combo it is also a specialist weapon so it won't get a bonus unless you have another specialist weapon with the sergeant um, so uh, which I don't think really you can really equip them that much with so those are the three uh, close combat weapons that they can get and um, pretty good options they all have their place uh, next up, we have the actual tactical squad upgrade. Um, they are the bayonets, and pretty much the bottom row here, and those guys up there. And they're two-handed, so you won't get a bonus, um, you know, extra attack or anything like that. But uh, you'll, your strength will be boosted up by a plus one, so that's pretty cool. Um, also, you have some little extras for like the sergeant, like this. His crest here, you know, signifies he's kind of a sergeant, right? A couple little packs, different packs, stuff like that. Um, you have his plasma pistol here. A couple of, uh, looks like gas masks almost. So you have those little options. And then also you have your bolt pistols that you can equip, equip on your marines and whatnot. So that's kind of the weapons, uh, close combat weapons and options. And uh, we'll go into some detail with some of the special equipment here right away. Okay, and we're back with the special equipment for your tactical marines and the squad and whatnot. Um, a lot of these options, uh, definitely you get to use them in other different types of squads as well. Um, so it's pretty nice that they have these kits. So uh, we'll start off with the Augury Scanner, which is this little screen thing looking here. Um, pretty neat. They never used to have these, uh, a lot of these actually in some of the kits. Uh, you did see them probably in a very similar thing to it in the 40k kits. But um, yeah, that's the scanner right there. Uh, pretty cool thing about it is uh, enemy infiltrators can't be deployed within 18 inches of it. Um, a unit that has one ignores the 24 inch line of sight limit uh, for shooting attacks while you're, you know, fighting night fighting. And then also when the enemy deploys on the battlefield with reserves, um, you can make a interceptor advance reaction if you have a scanner in your unit. Um, and it doesn't expend a point for the uh, reaction allotment. Um, but this it doesn't allow you to make more than one reaction per phase. So, um, you know, uh, you can't pretty much exceed like the normal three reactions given in any phase with that. So, uh, cool little cool little device, and um, you know you can definitely put it into good use with certain units. You know, maybe a heavy weapons team, whatnot, be a lot more effective. And next up, we're going to go to the uh, Legion of Axilla, which is kind of like their standard um, for each unit. So that's what this thing is right here. It just goes on top of the backpack. Um, so, you know, a unit that has one of these in their, um, uh, pretty much in their unit in the squad, they, they'll get a, a plus one to the wound scored to determine, like, who wins in close combat, like in an assault. And then in addition, like before uh, rolling your fallback distance, 
you can actually um, only roll like 1d6. So it's it's a, has a couple different effects. And the thing I think that's actually really good about it is um, usually when units are forced to like run off the board, they're, they run off and get wiped. Where this thing will actually um, stop your unit like an inch away from the table edge and pretty much saves them from being wiped out. So they'll give them like one last turn. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, guys have um, actually converted these to make them kind of like uh, standards where they're kind of holding them in their hands and long poles. A very uh, Roman-esque like style, which is what the uh, Space Marines are kind of like. So uh, next up, up is the Nuncio Vox, which is this apparatus here. Uh, there's also a little antenna that's supposed to go onto one of these heads um, of sorts. So uh, Nuncio Vox pretty much is, it lets you to re-roll any scatter rolls, um, you know, be it part of a deployment or be it part of a weapon attack, as long as like the model with the Nuncio Vox has like a line of sight um, to the target or the attack or the point chosen uh, for deployment kind of thing. So, and then of course, in addition, uh, it uh, ignores the minus one penalty to leadership imposed by night fighting rules. So uh, that could be a big thing in, in heresy right now. So it's, it's a lot of leadership modifiers. Um, you know, you're, uh, you have space Marines, but there's still things that can really affect them like that. So, so yeah, those are the three upgrades that you're able to take for tactical Marines. Um, they all have their uses. They're pretty good. They're also spread out through the whole army, so you'll see them all the time. Um, so yeah, so that is the Sprue preview of the MK6 Tactical Marines. So uh, for all you new players and you know viewers, I hope this helped you out. Um, nice little information for it. And for all you other veteran players who may not have gotten your hands on, um, you know, the sprues and whatnot or the, the minis, at least this gives you a, a little bit of a view on what the uh, sprues actually look like. Uh, we'll have a lot more of these coming out. I'm going to try to punch a whole bunch out just with some of the kits we have and then a lot of the new kits that will be coming out. And here you have uh, one of the MK6 Marines actually assembled. Um, right there, that's what they look like. Um, pretty nice looking kit again. Um, and just to show you a comparison to the other plastic kits that are out there. Um, so you have my Ultramarine boy here in the MK4 armor. Uh, and you also have this guy here, which is in the MK3 armor. As you can see, they're very close in size. Um, the Ultramarine is on a higher base, so he might seem a little bit taller, but if you bring them down, they're pretty close. Um, so they'll fit right in with other, uh, you know, uh, miniatures that you have in your um, armies right at the moment and whatnot, or if you want to mix, or maybe your Legion was one of the Legions that used specific armors. So, um, so yeah, so that's a side-by-side -side comparison to the Marines. Um, and there you go. Hope you enjoyed.